Welcome to my workshop. In this video, I will show you a very easy way to make super cool Halloween garlands of simple colored and office paper. From one A4 sheet, you can make a garland about 80 centimeters long. First, take a ruler and divide the short side of the sheet into three equal parts. Then use these marks as guidance and fold the sheet lengthwise, like this. Now cut along the lines you've just made. Now I join the short stripes into a long one with the help of transparent tape. And now we need to fold this long stripe into a concertina. Fold one of the ends like this for 5 or 6 centimeters. Guided by the edges of this rectangle, keep flipping the stripe over until you've folded it into a concertina. Make sure that your bands match. And if you have a loose end, just cut it off. So, that's our concertina. We have bends on the left and on the right that will hold our characters together. So, on each side you have to leave at least a small space that you're not going to cut. I'll show you how to do it. Let's start with bats. I wouldn't dare to make a completely symmetrical bat, so I just draw half of it. Easy, just like this. The bends on the right will keep the halves of our bat together, and on the left, the bats are going to hold each other by their wings. To keep the layers of paper in place while cutting, I'll just clip them together with a stapler. It's not mandatory, but if you have a stapler at hand, it's just more convenient. Now cut along the lines you've drawn. And now, magic time. Let's see what we've got. I love it. That's an excessive half and you can just tear it off or use it to glue this piece of your garland to the next one. To make a spider, I go the same way, drawing its half. If it doesn't really look like a spider, don't worry, the stranger the better. Just remember that spiders have eight paws and they will hold each other by the two longest ones. While drawing, make sure you won't have to cut through the bends. Ta-da! The garland is ready. Now I'll show you how to draw a full character. Let's start with ghosts. They'll be holding hands. As you may have noticed, I'm not the greatest artist. If neither are you, just feel free, it's gonna be cool anyway. Let's cut it out. Just remember not to cut the bend. Et voila! And let's draw them faces for a better effect. And one more version will be pumpkins. They are also very easy to draw even if you're not great at this. In the garland they'll be holding together by their sides. So, something like this. And an oval in the middle. And the stalk. Looks quite alright. Now cut it out. outline them with a liner to make it clear that they're actually pumpkins. 
You don't have to go along the whole perimeter, just make the basic spots. You can leave it just like this or grab a liner and draw some scary faces. To spare myself the throes of art, I just typed pumpkin faces templates on Pinterest. And here you go. Pick any collection and draw the eyes and noses as you like. No problem. So here are the garlands that I've got. Subscribe to my channel, leave comments and feel free to share with me the photos of your work on my social media.